Hello. After taking volume of cuboid and cube, we now move on to take surface areas of cuboid and cube. So in this session, we'll be taking up application of the formula of calculating surface area of cube and cuboid. See if I'm drawing a cuboid here just to look at why the formula is as such. <coughs> Sorry. This is supposedly a cuboid. You have six faces and there are two, two each of similar, kind of a pair of each type, right? This being the length This is the length, sorry, I write it here. This is the breadth and this stands for height. Now, if you are finding the surface area of this face, that will be like length into height. Similarly, if you are finding the base and the top, so it is base into length. And if you are finding this side, it will be base into height. <coughs> sorry two of each kind then right each type actually so what we do we write the formula of surface area of the cuboid two of each type so it will be two of length breadth plus bh plus lh this is the formula for surface area of cuboid now for a cube, all the faces are equal, length, breadth and height, they are equal. So if I am writing LB, it makes it L square. BH will be another L, L, uh, another L square and LH will be also another L square. So twice of 3 L square we are getting for a cube. So the formula will be. 6 L square, right? Now we see the application of these formula, right? The first one I write a question here. I don't think it will take much space, but cuboidal, a cuboidal oil tin is the dimensions are given 30 meter by 40 centimeter by 50 centimeter we have to find sorry we have to find the cost of the teen which is required which is required to which is required to make 20 such teens if the cost of teen sheet is rupees 20 per square meter so let us first find how much is the surface area required for making one such teen then we can multiply it with 20 such teens so finding out the surface area of such one cuboidal tin will be 2 into 30 into 40 that is L into B I'm oh, sorry L into B plus it will be 40 into 50 plus 30 into 50 this will be giving us the for or this is this will be in the square centimeter this will give us a surface area of 1 teen if I calculate this whole thing I'm getting as 1200 plus 2000 that is 3200 plus 1500 that is 4700 right so it is 2 into 4700 
giving me some 9400 square centimeters right this is for one team and just write the surface this is the surface area I'm using short form surface area of one team we also have to find the surface area of 20 teams so surface area of 20 such teams will be 9400 0 multiplied by 20 so that's 188000 I'm getting it as square centimeter we also have to find the cost because it says per square meter it is 20 but you need to see that 188000 is in square centimeter so let us now convert that into square meters to do so we have to divide because 1 meter square is equal to 10,000 centimeter square. So to convert a centimeter square to meter square I will divide 188000 by 10,000. So that will give me 18.8 meter square. For 1 meter square, it is 20 rupees. So, if I multiply this by 20, that will give us the total cost and that's giving me 376 rupees. Let's move on to another question. I'll write the next one here says the dimensions of a cuboid are in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3 and sorry and its total surface area is 88 square meter we have to find the dimensions of the cuboid. Now as because the dimensions of the cuboid are in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3, we will assume them as x, 2x and 3x meters. Okay. So I am taking the length as x, I'm taking the breadth as 2x and the height to be 3x. Now let us write it in the formula of the surface area of a cuboid. So 2 into length breadth plus breadth height plus length height. This is equal to 88 square meters. Let's first find the x value from this equation we have arrived at. This is 2x squared, so this will be 6x squared and this I think is another 3x squared. So the one inside the bracket becomes 11x squared, so 11 into 2 gives us 22x squared. 22x squared is equal to 88. So, x square is equal to 88 by 22, that's 4. So, x will be root over of 4, that's 2 centimeters. Sorry, 2 meters because it's given in meters. So, it is 2 meters. Now, <coughs> sorry, its x value is 2. Then we have to find the dimensions we had assumed L to be x so it is 2 set 2 meters breadth to be 2 x 2 into 2 that is 4 meters and c or height sorry it's 3 h 3 into 2 is 6 meters so the answer is 2 4 and 6 let's now move on to another question in the next screen i'll write the question first give me a minute Question reads as the measure of a textbook 
are the measures of a test book are sorry I missed this S down here are 22 centimeter 11 centimeter and 3 centimeter it is to be covered with a brown paper now if each book requires 164 square centimeter of more paper for folding 106 I missed it I think I didn't notice um, sorry if each book requires 164 centimeter square of more paper for folding how much paper is required to wrap 85 such textbooks so we'll again continue as we did in one of the previous questions to find the area of the paper required for one textbook see this is our length this will be the breadth and this I'm taking as height. Now, first of all, to find the book to be covered, right? A textbook is to be covered only paper on only on the three sides that are the bottom, top and back. Right? Because we don't need this when I'm supposedly drawing a book I can't um, make a proper one though but if you look at it it might just be like this if this is the book wait, yeah this is the book we need this is the area of the bottom will be covered, area of the top to be, this front part will be covered, this side will be covered. But this part, when we actually open the book, we don't need that to be covered, right? So, area of the bottom that is to be covered, like the whole base, that will be like length into breadth, right? Okay, the area of the bottom of the book, I'm not writing on the book, will be length into breadth so our length into breadth is 22 into 11 that will be 242 square centimeter you know this you also need an area of the top again that will be 242 right area oh sorry area of the top of the book that will be another 242 square centimeter right now area of the back face that is L into H area it separately I'm doing so that you follow it area of the back face we need it this is L into H that will be 22 into 3 so that's 66 66 square centimeter we will need now this is the we are, this is the paper we need um, but it also informs that each books require 164 square meter more paper because we need to fold it and you know fix it inside the uh, front part so we'll need the total paper will be like 242 plus 242 plus 66 along with the extra paper which is required is 160 Four. So this is giving us 714 square centimeter paper. So this is required for one book. This is for one book. We need it for 85 such books. For 85 books, it will be then 714 multiplied to 85. That will give us... 60690 
square centimeter paper if you can cannot make out how i made this area of the bottom and the top just do take a book uh, you know to yourself and try to make out how we don't need the right side we only need the top and the bottom and the area of the back face that will help you to you know follow the same question no, sorry the explanation in the next session we will be taking up how to find out the surface area of the four walls of a room hope you followed this uh, three questions which we have taken this session thank you